must take a stand. We're not taking that. Cause we have the upper hand. We're not taking that. So put your foot on the devil. Cause the wicked are evil. If we have you in trouble, bring him down to ground level. So put your foot on the devil. Cause the wicked are evil. If we have you in trouble, bring him down to ground level. Lift it up, put it down. Let him know that you're strong. Lift it up, put it down. He must know.
Good evening everyone. Welcome to this evening's Hour of Power. Before I pray, I would like to read two pieces of scripture. The first is taken from James 5, verses 14 and 15. Is any is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one that is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed any sin, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. And the other scripture comes from Isaiah 53, verse 5 and 6. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this evening, O oh God. Father God, and I lift those among us who are ill. Father God, as I have just read, O oh God, you, you have instructed us, Lord God, that if there's any sick among us, Father, that we should call for the elders. Father, that we should pray. Father God, in Isaiah 53 and verse 5, it says, O oh God, that you were wounded for our transgressions, you were bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And with your stripes we are healed. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come against cancer. We come against the stronghold of cancer. We come against the stronghold of sugar diabetes. We come against any form of kidney, liver, heart, stroke. Father God, any and every form of disease, of sickness, we come against that stronghold. We pull it down right now in the name of Jesus. Because your word tells us that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And we pull down strongholds this evening. We pull down the stronghold of sickness this evening. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We come against it with the blood of Jesus. We come against it, O oh God, with, and we, with firm belief, O oh God, that your promises are yea and amen. Because you tell us, O oh Lord God, that we are not to faint. Father God, you told us, O oh God, that, that to pray without ceasing. And Father God, we are praying this evening, O oh God. We declaring in the name of Jesus because you said if we declare a thing, it shall be established. And we are declaring this evening that every cancer cell has to dry up. In the name of Jesus, sugar diabetes have to come. The blood has to come in alignment with the word of God. Any form of stroke that paralyzes, we paralyze you with the word of God this evening. We paralyze you with the word of Jesus. We paralyze you in the name of Jesus. And we declare that everyone who is sick, everyone who is sick, they will grab hold of the, of the hem of Jesus' garment this evening. And they will declare, oh God, that they are whole, that they are strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. In the name of Jesus. Father, we look to you, O oh God, because your word tells us at the mention of your name, at the mere mention of your name, that every knee has to bow and every form of sickness, every form of mental, of dementia has to bow in the name of Jesus. We declare soundness of mind. We declare wholeness of body, soul, and spirit. We declare that no weapon formed or fashion against us will prosper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, and we say, Satan, take your filthy hands off. Take your filthy hands off of God, people. In the name of Jesus, we will not bow to sickness. We will not bow to any form of sickness. We come against prostate. In the name of Jesus, you will not take hold of our men. They will not die an early death. In the name of Jesus, or they will not suffer discomfort. We come against every womb disease in the name of Jesus. We declare that our women are strong. We declare that our women are whole. We declare that our women will stand firm in the name of Jesus. We declare, oh God, that their bodies will function as you, oh God, have created our bodies to function in the name of Jesus. There shall be no malfunction. And even though there is a malfunction, Father, we come to you. 
because you are the creator you created our bodies oh god and you are able oh god as your word said you are able oh god to put it back together again so father we thank you in advance we thank you oh god for healing every sick person among us we thank you, O oh Lord God, not only in our congregation, but those who are hearing the sound of our voices this evening. We are praying, O oh God. We are praying, Father, and we are declaring your word over them in the name of Jesus. We are declaring body, soul, and spirit will come in alignment with the word of God. Father, we thank you for healing this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. Good night, again, everybody. And welcome again to another hour of power. I just want to ask everybody to agree with me for as we pray tonight. Heavenly Father, we give you praise and thanks, dear God. We honor you tonight, dear God. We acknowledge, Lord God, that you are God, that you are creator, oh God, of each and every one of us, Lord God. And today, oh God, we just want to reverence your holy and matchless name, Lord God. We thank you, oh God, for who you are. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, oh God, for the peace that passes all understanding. And even now, dear God, we thank you, oh God. For being God, for allowing us, oh God, to seek at another day, Lord God, to be able to come into your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. And tonight we just want to lift up your holy and matchless name, Lord God. We pray, dear God, even now, Lord God, that your word, oh God, will go forth, oh God, as your word says, oh God, that it is quick and sharper than any two edged sword. And even now, oh God, we pray, dear God, that your word, oh God, will go forth. Even as it is posted, oh God, all over Facebook and Instagram and all other social media platforms, there, God, we pray that your word, oh God, will go forth, oh God, and begin to pierce through, Lord God, the hearts and minds, oh God, of those, oh God, who do not know you, oh God, those who haven't yet surrendered their lives. We pray that, God, that they, oh God, will be rich, Lord God, that the unreachable, oh God, will be rich, oh God, that the hearts, oh God, of the drug dealers and the drug lords, oh God, and those in parliament, those in government, Lord God, we pray, oh God, that you, oh God, that your word will go forth, oh God, that your word will come alive and that your spirit, oh God, will begin to move through this land and through this world, Lord God, that hearts will be changed, oh God, that no longer will men have hearts of stone, oh God, but they, oh God, will have hearts of flesh. Lord God, we pray even now, dear God, that you, oh God, will begin to raise up individuals, oh God, to begin to release, broadcast your word and your goodness, oh God, that your people will rise up, oh God, and begin to share their testimonies, oh God, of how awesome and how mighty and how powerful you are, oh God, that we, oh God, will use these platforms, oh God, to show forth, oh God, your glory, Lord God, and the that we, oh God, will no longer just post things, oh God, that, that, that doesn't make sense. But, Lord God, we'll begin to post, oh God, the things that really glorify and edify your name. That other people will see how good and mighty our God is. That people, oh God, who have been battling diseases and sicknesses, oh God, and has been healed by your hands. Lord God, will share their testimonies, oh God, of what you have done, oh God. Those of God who will be living in you, oh God, for things, oh God, like jobs, oh God, and, and whatever else it may be, Lord God. I pray that God, that they too, oh God, will share their testimony, oh God, that people will know that there is a God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. And even now, Lord God, we pray, oh God, that you, oh God, will begin to move, oh God, in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds. I pray that God, that you will begin to meet people where they are even now oh God because we know God that there are so many people out there oh God that just want to hear that word of oh God that, that longing of oh God that had that desire of oh God to hear your word of oh God so I pray that God that those that are lost even now that your word will find them wherever they are Lord God that they oh God will want to know more oh God that they will want to seek you more oh God and really seek your face oh God as your word says to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto us oh God I pray that God that your word oh God will come alive oh God that we will live according to your word there God that as we live, oh God, as we live for you, Lord God, that other people would see, oh God, and that they, oh God, would want to experience the God that we serve, oh God. They too, oh God, will want that peace. They too will want that joy. Lord God, I pray that God that our lives, oh God, will be a living testimony, oh God. That we, oh God, will wave our banners high, Lord God, so that people will know, oh God, who our God is, oh God, that we, oh God, will be true representatives of Christ. As your word says, oh God, that we ought to be, oh God, true imitators of you, Lord. God, so I decree and declare even now, dear God, that wherever we are, wherever we go, whatever we post, oh God, that we will represent you, Lord God. 
that many will see and know their God that you are God and that you are the true and living God. So Lord God, I pray even now, Lord, that those people, Lord God, that will see your word posted, Lord God, that those of all who will see videos, Lord God, or, or hear your word, Lord God, Lord God, I pray that God, that your word, Lord God, Lord God, will not be one of God that just heard and, and forgotten, but Lord God, I pray that God, that it will really pierce, Lord God, and begin to go deep and begin to uproot, Lord God, everything that has been planted in their lives, Lord God, every seed, Lord God, that has been sown, Lord God, that, that has been reaping, Lord God, and destructing their lives, even now, dear God, we uproot every bad seed, Lord God, and we decree and declare, dear God, that good seed of God will be sown of God and the lives of God will be fruitful of God that they of God will begin to blossom and bloom Lord God I pray that God that the season of all where they are in even now that you of God will begin to move and begin to shift there God that they of God will come into the season of God where you of God will begin to outpour your Holy Spirit of God and your anointing of God where they will find purpose of God in you Lord God where their lives will be changed of God and that they will never be the same that they will never go back but Lord God they will continue to press forward of all they will press towards the price of the mark of the high calling even now dear god so lord god i pray dear god that each and every individual that will hear your word of god i pray that god that they of god their lives of god will never be the same that they of god will want to go deeper they of god will want to go higher or they want to be drawn closer to you lord god that they of god will really begin to spend time in your presence of god and practice of god being in your presence of god practice listening of god to your voice and i pray that god that you of god will give them a spirit of obedience of god that when you speak they will listen and follow your instructions lord god i pray that god that no longer will they be in darkness but lord god they will be set into your eternal light in no other name but in jesus name Lord, your word says that no man cometh unto the Father unless the Spirit draws him. So, Lord, we pray, O oh God, today that your Holy Spirit, O oh God, will go forth and arrest the hearts of men and women today. Give them hearts of flesh today, O oh God. Lord, that even during this time, O oh God, of COVID and with all the, the un, you know, uncertainties, O oh Father, that they will come to know you as Lord and Savior. Look to you, O oh God, as their source, O oh God. Look to you, O oh God, as their hope, O oh God, today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift our hope workers before you. Father, your word says that we are the sword and light of the good. Lord, help us, O oh God, to shine. Let our light shine in our workplace, O oh God, so that others will see our good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Help us, O oh God, to be a force and a light in darkness, O oh God, so those who don't know you, O oh God, will come to know you as Lord and Savior. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you will touch, O oh God, those, O oh God, who have backslided, those who have left you, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, right now, Lord, as we put a hook in their jaw and we Pull them back into the kingdom of God, out of the kingdom of darkness. Lord, you said that you, know, you are married to the backsliders. So, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will speak to them right now. Restore, God, those who have left the world. Father, restore their faith, O God, in you. Oh God, Lord, we pray, oh God, that you will touch them. Father, you will bring them back to that 
place where they once were with you, dear Jesus. Lord, they will come back to their first love today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for all those who need a touch today. Father, your word said in the last days you will pour your spirit. Lord, we pray, oh God, that your spirit will be poured out, oh God, upon men and women. Lord, we pray for salvation in our land today. Lord, we declare that Trinidad and Tobago, Lord, is going to be saved, oh God, our country, our citizens, oh God, will be saved today in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, oh God, that in churches, oh God, even though we have all these restrictions, Lord, we pray, oh God, even though we use social media, we use the internet, oh God, all the different ways that we can use technology. Father, we pray, Lord, that it will reach to the souls that needs to be saved, oh God. Father, Lord, that you will touch their hearts even this way, Father, so that they can come to know you as Lord and Savior. Lord, we come up against every distraction, oh God, that may occur. Anything that may want to pull us down, oh God, from not doing what you have called us to do. Lord, we cancel every assignment and enemy in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, that your children will be strong. Father, we will lift up your name. Father, we will go out there and reach the loss of God and end course. So, Father, we pray for salvation today, God. We declare salvation in our land. We declare your salvation in the earth today, oh God. And we thank you, oh God, for saving lives today. We pray, oh God, that you will draw men unto you, oh God. So, as we lift you up, Jesus, we pray, oh God, that you will draw men unto you, out of the darkness, oh God. Bring them out of the mind, my clay, oh God, and set their feet on a rock to stay to be there, Jesus. So Lord, we thank you for what you have done already. We thank you for your saving grace and mercy. And we give you all the honor and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord God, we just give you praise. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you thanks, oh God, Father. Father, you are the most high God, and there's none like you, Father, Lord. There's none that, nothing that you cannot do, oh God, Father, God, Father, especially to him who has set his eyes on you, on unrighteousness and these things, oh God, Father, God. Lord, even as, as we talk about righteousness, Lord, as I pray for right, I pray, I know, Father, that's for the, my pastor, and, and, and for the leaders of my local assembly, Dr. David Jackson, oh God, Father, and his pastoral team, oh God, Father, God. I pray, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, the Lord, for blessings, oh God, Father, upon their lives. Oh God, pray for anointing, oh God, Father, upon their lives, oh God, Father, God. And that you have given them the unction to function. You have blessed them, oh God, and kept them, oh God, and you. I pray you continue to keep them in the name of Jesus. Can keep even those things surrounding them. I pray for their families. I pray, Father, God, that's for their marriages or their children and everything will be kept oh god father because oh god you see oh god father the enemy tries if you can attack them you attack his family you can attack and, and, and attack or everything and surrounding them to disrupt their minds but i declare in the name of jesus that hedge of protection oh god the angel will keep them right now the name of jesus christ oh god father father i just declare right right now the name of jesus i pray father god everything's concerning them oh god is seed in your hands oh god father and oh god it is under your protection right now the name of Jesus and Father God, let us pray even now for divine strategies. Oh God, Father, right in the name of Jesus, that Lord, by your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, that you speak to them, even in their quiet time, as they traverse your word, oh God, Father God, allow them to get understanding, they get wisdom, oh God, Father, come to, from, from heaven, oh God, not from their minds, oh God, not from head knowledge, but Lord God, spiritual understanding, right in the name of Jesus, and it comes from your spirit, as I pray for your wisdom of God, to really fall, and to really um, be upwelling in them, oh God, that Lord, Lord, they be well. Oh God, Father, God, of wisdom, of understanding, oh God, Father, from the, from you, oh God, Father, as you said, oh God, in your word, and anyone who wants wisdom to come, so Lord, be clear, I, I, I'm coming to you to ask for wisdom, not only for myself, but Lord God, for them, oh God, Father, that even as they lead the church, they will know that what, Father, see the sign of the times, oh God, they will be like the sons of Issachar, 
Oh God, Father, that they'll see times of going, Father, they'll know what to do, oh God, Father, especially in this digital age. Oh Father, in this time like this time like now, oh God, Father, you have set them apart. You have set them up, oh God, even for this time, oh God, time like this, oh God, Father, that Lord, you would carry them to uh, uh, encourage them uh, and, and show them uh, what to do in this time uh, God Father keep the church alive to keep the church uh, God Father to be pressing forward to, to bring in the kingdom uh, God Father God and to maintain in our relationships and the fellowship uh, God Father I declare right now Father that you show them downloading their spirits uh, God but I'm here really here from you oh God Father on this uh, God not from their own minds or their feelings but Lord I pray that they will be in tune with your spirit in the name of Jesus oh God Father, and Lord, whatever they think, whatever they do, do not be of themselves, but they be of your spirit, a birthing from your Holy Spirit right now, and the origin of God, Father, from your Spirit of God. For Lord, God, we pray for your Holy Spirit to really dwell amidst them, because you know your Spirit of God is, is, is your eyes, your ears, your heart, oh God, Father, God, and to us, oh God, Father. So I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that your Holy Spirit will really, oh God, Father, dwell in them, oh God, Father, and speak to them, oh God, speak to the word as you read your word, speak to them, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for even for ordered footsteps, oh God, Father, wherever they go, like Father God, they, oh God, Father, be uh, led by your spirit, they go as a leading by your spirit right now, Father God, and they will go of their own accord right on the name of Jesus, oh God, as declare this right on the name of Jesus, and Father God, I just declare, oh God, Father God, that Lord, they will hear from you, and Father, whatever plans, oh God, Father, whatever, um, they are here, oh God, Father, what it really comes from you, oh God. Father, you move every other, other voices, oh God, maybe voices of man of, as well, and they may be seeing things happening, but I clear, I know that the strategy comes from you, oh God. And oh God, you direct them, oh God, Father, correctly and rightly, and they will be obedient. That sometimes, oh God, the things that you may say may seem foolish, or may, may seem um, uh, 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 rash, or these things like that, oh God, we pray that they will, they will really understand your word. And execute it expertly, oh God, Father God. I declare right now, oh God, Father, an uh, uh, anointing upon their lives, oh God, like no other. And oh God, as they lead the church, oh God, Father, they are ushering your presence right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. I declare right now, oh God, Father God, that Lord, every strategy in your spirit, that you bring your word to life in them, oh God, Father God, that they will see, oh God, even the secret things, oh God, Father, that you're in, in your word, oh God, Father, and they'll be guided by it, oh God, Father. So, Lord, let us have your way in them, oh God, Father God. Touch them right now, even as they sleep. Give them visions, oh God, Father. Oh, Father, that's us of understanding, oh God, Father God. Father God, that's just and allow your tangible presence to really be with them right now, Father. And we clear it so. In Jesus' name, I pray thanksgiving. Every yoke will rest heavily upon them, O oh God, in the name of 
of Jesus, even as David, oh God, went forth, oh God, and he did what he had to do, what he had to do for your kingdom, Lord, and that David, they can him, but rest upon them, his spirit of might. Lord, Lord, to fight giants, oh God, to conquer, to take territories, will rest upon them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we cover them with your blood, we cover their families, oh God. We pray that the angel of the Lord will encamp around and about them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they will spend time in your word, they will spend time in prayer and fasting. We pray, God, that they will not lead unto their own understanding, but they will acknowledge you in all your ways, oh God, and you will direct their paths, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, you will make a clear and a plain path for them that you will lead them Lord, in the path of righteousness oh God and you will lead them beside still waters Father in the name of Jesus Lord that their eyes will not go dim like Eli but their eyes will ever Lord be towards you oh God their eyes of understanding will be enlightened oh God Father in the name of Jesus we come against the spirit of blindness and deafness oh God and lukewarmness and even flesh oh God in Jesus name and we declare God the spirit of anointing is put my god of might and power lord and wisdom will rest upon them oh god they are not to break low yokes they are not my god to set free they are not to god to rest upon them to undo heavy burdens oh god to set the captives free to bring healing and deliverance oh god that they will know how lord to teach your flock how to feed your sheep father in jesus name we thank you for them oh god and we declare lord your hand and your blood will be ever towards them and over them in jesus name Good evening everyone. This evening I pray against generational curses that may be affecting our health, our finances, our marriages and even our families. But before I go into prayer this evening I would like to share a few verses of scripture with us. And I begin from Exodus 34 reading from verse 6 to verse 7. And the Lord passing by before him and proclaimed the Lord God merciful and gracious long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth keeping mercy for thousands forgiving iniquity and transgression of sin and that will by no means clear the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and fourth generation. I go to Ezekiel 18 and 20. The soul that said it, it shall die, and the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. I go to 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 and it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are made new. Father God, we just bless your name. We glorify your majesty. We thank God for who you are this evening. You are our God and beside you there is no other. You are Alpha, you are the Omega, you are the first, you are the last, you are the beginning and you are the end. And Father God this evening we just thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you are yet still to do. We thank you for your goodness Lord, your mercy and your loving kindness. We thank you for your love that you share with us, that you sh shower upon us. Even though at times we are not deserving, Father God you still you still love us and Lord Jesus this evening we just thank you this evening we, I come with no strength no power of my own but I come relying on you because I know Lord that all good and perfect gifts they come from you so this evening God I thank you I thank you for what you're about to do Lord and I ask that you cover me with your Holy Spirit cover me with your blood that this prayer would be be answered Father God this evening I bring all my brothers and sisters who are in my earshot this evening, Lord and Father, I thank you for them, Lord, and I come against, I come against the effects of generation, generational curses, Lord, General, generational curses that may be affecting our health, be affecting our finances, our marriages, and our families, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I come against every generational curse. Father, Lord, and I bind it now in the name of Jesus. Father, you declare that you 
we should be of good health and we should prosper. And Father Lord, if we be under the bondage of curse, Lord Father, I pray, Lord, that you would remove every bondage, every blind, every blind, Lord, that may be hindering us from being in good health. Father, I pray that you remove it now in the name of Jesus. So our finances, Lord. Father Lord, I pray that you would bless our finances. I pray that you would bless it in such a way Lord, that we would be able to give and give unto others and be a blessing. Father Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you this evening. Father, I pray for marriages, Lord. You brought couples together. You brought male and female together. You put them together in marriage. Father, this evening, I, I, I pray that your Holy Spirit, Lord, would continue to be in the midst of these marriages. Father God, what you brought together, you say that no man should but put us under. So Father Lord, we hold firm to your promise this evening. And Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit would be in the midst. You take the lead, you control. Father Lord, no generational curse. We bind it now in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Knowing that you are able and more than able to do exceedingly above more than we could ever ask. So this evening, Lord, we ask that every marriage, every married person that might be going through some issue that generational curse might be the cause and hindering from hindering them from progressing. Father God, we bind it now in the name of Jesus. Every demon that has been sent forth through a generational curse, Lord, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We cover it with your blood and we, pro we proclaim victory in the name of Jesus. Father, this evening, we thank you. We thank you for families. Families, oh Lord, that unit that you brought together, brought together through marriage, Lord. I pray for families. You say the family that pray together would stay together. And Father God, we're praying that this evening that families would find time to come together, study your word, pray together, learn of you together. Father God, open the windows of heaven this evening and Pour out of your blessing on every family a fresh anointing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, a fresh anointing on families, Lord. When you see weak ones, Lord, you strengthen them. Father God, I thank you for the families. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that any generational curse that might be pursuing after these family, Lord, let your goodness and your mercy overtake them. Let your goodness and your mercy overtake them. Bind every force of evil that may be operating in families that might have been following them from generation. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we proclaim it done. Families, we bless you this evening. We worship your majesty this evening, God, for what you are doing, for what you are about to do. Father God, Jesus, for what you have done, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We pray that all things are possible with you. And we know, Lord Father, you tell us to ask you anything with faith and belief, and you promise that you would grant it unto us. So this evening, Lord, we stand firm on your promise, because we know your promise is sure, for you have never failed us. This evening, God, I thank you. I thank you for the time that you gave us to come and spend together. Father, we ask these things in no other name, but in Jesus' all-powerful name. Amen and amen. Praise and honor and glory, O God. Father God, we lift up your name above every name, Lord God. Father God, we declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord God, Father God, and we lift you up. We say, let that light shine. O God, let the light of Christ shine in every dark corner of Trinidad and Tobago, every evil corner, every criminal corner, in the name of Jesus, we come against spirit of darkness, mighty God, hallelujah, oh glory to God, and we send the light, oh God, the light of the Holy Spirit, oh God, in these areas where darkness is overshadowing the life of people, oh God, and gripping their mind and their heart to do evil. We break it in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And we declare that the light has come and darkness have to go. We declare darkness have to go. 
we speak to that spirit of darkness, of evil, of destruction, mighty God, of crime, oh God, that is gripping the mind, oh God, that is battling for the mind, oh God, of the human being. We come against it, oh God, and we, 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 we declare your light. You said that light had come in the world, mighty God, and overcome the darkness. And we declare, we declare this evening that light has come and dispel every area of darkness, Father God. Crime in the country, oh God. God, the different gangs, oh God. Rasta City or, or whoever, Lord God, whoever is the leader of these gang, oh God, you know them by name. You know where they are right now. Father God, we attack their mind, oh God, with the Spirit of God. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Father God, we take hold of their mind. We take hold of their mind. We renew their mind, oh God. We send your word, O oh God, to arrest their mind, O oh God, from every evil thought and every evil action. Mighty God, the stronghold, we pull on the stronghold upon their mind, O oh God. And Father God, we declare that their mind is set free. We declare that their mind, every gang leader, every gang member, oh God, we break, oh God, that ties to naught and set at liberty their mind with the Spirit of God and the Word of God. Father God, we pray, oh God, for our protective service, God. Our protective services, oh God. Father God, and we say, oh God, if there be any bad element or, or rogue element oh god oh god of dishonesty my god father god root them out root them out root them out oh god take them out lord god take all the negative ones oh god the ones that want to stop trouble oh god mighty god every bad apple in the midst oh god father god expose them expose their work oh god in every area of the protective service, Lord. Where there is evil, oh God, being done, we put a stop to it. We infiltrate it, oh God, with the power of God, with the anointing, and with the word of God. And we send on this mantle plan of the enemy. Oh God, in our protective service. And we say, let God arise. In the police service, let God arise. In the army, let God arise. Oh God, in the regiment, let God arise. My God, in the government, let God arise. My God, in the security guards, let God arise. And let the enemy be scattered, Lord God. Dismantle the work of the enemy and set at liberty. Father God, we pray for our country and the crime in our country and the evil in our country. We come to naught. And you be glorified and you be lifted up in Jesus name amen and praise the Lord God continues to be good and faithful even before I pray I just want to make reference to two portions of scriptures one is taken in Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 and Jesus just coming out of the wilderness and being tempted by the enemy for 40 days he said repent for the kingdom of God is at hand and in Matthew chapter 16, we saw where Jesus um, asking Peter and the disciples, who do you say that I am? And after Peter answered, Jesus made some statements, one of which I want to emphasize, where he says, I, I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and earth. And then he goes on to say, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And so, Father, even now I give you thanks and I give you praise that you are God and that you are awesome and that you are mighty and you are God who is all-powerful and all-knowing. Lord, I thank you for Trinidad and Tobago. Oh God, and I, I thank you that you have plans for this nation. A nation in times past, as you have said, you will cause to be a launching pad to the nations of the earth. 
And Father, even now is a nation named after you, after Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And Father, even as we consider, as we think about our general election that is about to take place in, in, in August 10th, Father, oh God, we know, oh God, that there's much taking place, even in the heavenlies, over this nation, oh God. Many, oh God, want to have the opportunity to rule. But we know, oh God, that you are the one who set up, and you are the one who bring down. And so, Father, we even now, I come against every form of demonic assistance that is sometimes sought, oh God, during election time by persons vying for position. And in the name of Jesus, 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 Father, even now, even now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I decree today, oh God, that they will not have any success. I bind you. Give us keys of the kingdom so that we can bind. I bind every demonic force that is at work in the name of Jesus. Every de demonic force, the way assistance is being sought after to win this general election, even, even at the different divisions, Father, we cancel it in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I decree declare today, O oh God, that the devil shall have no place in this general election in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against even demonic forces that people see to even try to import, bring into our land at these times, O oh God, Father, but in the name of Jesus, I dismantle, we dismantle, we destroy it. We remember your word that says, Jesus, that you disarm principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness. And so even now, Father, we decree the manifestation of that to show itself again in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for a peaceful campaigning period. We pray for peaceful election. We say there shall be no civil unrest because of this election in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, even now, God, we pray, oh God, we pray, we pray that those that you have ordained, both for, both for, both for, both to win and both to be opposition, that, oh God, that the only they are the ones that shall be selected. I pray that even in the minds of voters that there will not be confusion. That people will come out to vote, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that people will really seek you so that your will could be done in this thing in the mighty 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 name of Jesus we thank you for Trinidad because we thank you that the result shall be the result that you have preordained even before the foundation of the earth father again we lift up our country God. we come against any group or groups that are that are planning presently that are coming in partnership with the kingdom of darkness to cause yet to be any kind of civil unrest in our nation. Father, we take the authority. You said you have given us the keys of the kingdom and keys speaks of authority. Lord, I take authority in the name of Jesus over the principalities and the powers that are at work, oh God, to bring about civil unrest in our country. Lord, I decree, oh God, where there is where there, are, there is planning, oh God, in secret places, I say, God, in the name of Jesus, cause it to be discovered, cause it to be overthrown in the name of Jesus and we bind every plan, we erase every plan of God with the blood of Jesus, every plan we erase with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. We decree, oh God, Father, that never again, it's almost 30 years, the end of July, that this country has experienced, has experienced, has experienced, has experienced, oh God, this, the attempt, oh God, even, even a, a, a temporary overthrow of its government. We decree in the mighty name of Jesus, this shall never take place in this land again, in the name of Jesus. So Father, even now, oh God, we uproot the plans of evil. We uproot the plans of evil, God. We dismantle the plans of the enemy <coughs> excuse in Jesus' name and father even now in the name of Jesus we come against oh God any kind of natural disaster that will also bring our country into a difficult position oh God even now we say there shall be no earthquakes in the name of Jesus there shall be no hurricanes oh God no massive storms in the name of Jesus we are asking you to have mercy upon us as a nation oh God have mercy upon us as a nation father and I decree and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus oh God that your kingdom come and your will be done in this twin island republic in the name of Jesus. So again, Father, we are praying for good and peaceable elections and campaigning, oh God. And again, we decree, oh God, there shall be no, no, no civil disturbance in our country. There shall be no war, oh God, between police and gang members in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, oh God, for your supernatural intervention. And I decree that your church will rise as a mighty army, oh God, using the weapon, oh God, using that which you have given to us, the keys of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word says, oh God, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, which means the kingdom of
kingdom is accessible. Let us access your kingdom and bring your kingdom to Trinidad and Tobago and see a manifestation of your glory in our country. So Father, we give you praise. You have said to us prophetically that this little nation will be a launching pad to nations. And I decree our testimony of a nation shall be great. We thank you for what you have done for us throughout the COVID season, Father. And we decree and we declare, God, that you will work on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, we exalt your precious name. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We glorify you. We say that you are God. God and God alone. We say that you are holy. We say that you are righteous. Come on, somebody. Begin to give God praise this evening for the breakthrough. Your victory is in your praise. Hallelujah. Almighty God and gracious Father, we glorify your name. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. There is nothing too hard for the Lord to do. We serve a great God. All the other gods are the work of man. But you are the most high God. Somebody call that name Jesus. Somebody call him Lord. Somebody call him Master. Somebody call him Savior. Somebody call him soon and coming King. Hallelujah. Father, we glorify your name. You know the book of Acts says in chapter 16. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers, brought them to the magistrate, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romans. The Bible goes on to say, And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them and when they had laid many stripes upon them they cast them into prison charging the jailer to keep them safely who having received such a charge thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks church this is what the Bible says. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. So even though they were beaten, even, even though they were thrust into the inner prison, even though they were fast in stocks, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And this is the part that I like. And suddenly, and suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. And suddenly, and this evening I want to encourage you, I want to tell you that in your present situation, suddenly is coming that God is going to intervene suddenly, that God is going to turn the situation around for you suddenly, that even though you might be feeling as if you are imprisoned, even though you're feeling as if you're probably in stocks, you're locked up in chains, but there is going to be a breaking tonight of those chains, there is going to be a setting free, because suddenly, the great deliverer is going to show up in the name of Jesus, there is going to be a suddenly and tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you are going to show up. You're going to show up, Father, for your people. Suddenly, things are going to begin to turn around. Suddenly, Lord, there's going to be an increase in our income. Suddenly, there's going to be an increase and favor in our ministries. Suddenly, things are going to begin to, Lord, move from a low place to a very high place. And Father, even as we declare it tonight in the name of Jesus, 
Jesus, it shall come to pass. Come on, somebody, begin to trust him in faith. Begin to believe that there is going to be a suddenly in your life, in your situation, that even though you might have been beaten, you might have, your clothes might have been rent, it doesn't change the fact that God is going to show up suddenly, that there is going to be a shaking in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your voice and speak over your situation tonight. Whatever your situation is, God is going to turn it around for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether you're trusting God for your spouse, for your husband, for your wife, whether you're trusting God for a backslidden child, son or daughter, there is going to be a suddenly, God is going to arrest them wherever they are. Suddenly, they are going to return in the name of God. Jesus, Father, we hold fast to your word. We hold fast to your word tonight. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that through you, Lord, we will run through troops and we will leap over walls. Father God, our situations would not encumber us, wouldn't cause us, Lord God, Lord, to cease our praise. But like Paul and Silas, in the midnight, we will cry out. In the midnight, we will cry out. Lord, in, in our dark situations, we will cry out because there is a hope in the name of Jesus. And that hope is Jesus. Somebody call that name. Jesus is that name. Somebody call Call him Shalom, God of peace this evening, for he is more than able to turn this situation around suddenly. That pain that you're feeling in your chest, Almighty God is going to heal it tonight. Suddenly lay hands upon yourself, lay hands upon your chest and trust God for that healing tonight. Suddenly suddenly that pain is going to leave in Jesus name in Jesus name speak to the things that are not as though they are in Jesus name Father Lord we thank you we thank you Lord and just as the Bible says an earthquake came shake off their chains and we thank you tonight that every chain is broken Every chain, Lord God, is shaking off. Chains that have your people bound. Lord, that they cannot praise. That they cannot worship. Lord, those chains are broken tonight. Chains of sickness. Chains of depression. Broken tonight. And set God's people free. In Jesus' name. Chains of barrenness. Chains of infertility. They are broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Suddenly, it shall be done. And Father, we believe it. Lord, your word is established tonight. And we speak it into the atmosphere. And it shall be so. Suddenly. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we take the opportunity at this time. To remember, Lord Jesus, everyone who has submitted a prayer request. Father, Lord, we've been putting these prayer requests in this bottle and praying over them. Praying that, Father, you meet every need, that you solve every problem, that you address every concern. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we lift every request. And Father, at this time, Lord, we take time to emphasize in a very special way, O oh Lord, on all of our young people who are at this time about to begin the writing of their exams for transition. Father, those who are writing their exams, Lord, for transition, transition, Lord, from the SCA examination that's coming up. Father, and for those, Lord Jesus, who will be starting the CSEC examination, Father, and those who will be doing the CAPE examination this year. Father, Lord, we pray that everyone, Lord Jesus, who calls your name, that your anointing rest upon them. And Father, Lord, make them head material. Make them. Father, it does not matter.
matter where they have started, you miraculously can take them to the head. Father Lord, and I ask you today, make your people the head. Every obstacle that has been placed in their way, whether psychological, whether mental, whether circumstantial, oh Father, we take authority over it right now. And Father, we proclaim that they are the head and not the tail. We walk by faith and not by sight. And so we proclaim it today with the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. And everyone say, Amen. We thank you for this hour of prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.